Well this should just be a very short video um, about the front brakes for the Excel. Uh, because we're getting reasonably close to me being able to build a rolling chassis, at least as an uh, initial dry build, uh, I want to get the front hub assembly sorted out and part of that was doing a big brake conversion and this is one of the original brake discs and to be honest this is in pretty fair condition there's minimal wear ridge that disc could be recovered and they are available without too much difficulty uh, the calipers however are actually in a pretty sorry state this one uh, the piston is uh, fairly thoroughly locked even hydraulic pressure is um, isn't shifting it at the moment. That one uh, was even a pain to get off the car and certainly the car was pretty hard to move. So I did a bit of research and using the offset data and a little bit of searching around I found these brake discs and these are from uh, well one application is certainly Citroen Xantia V6 so whereas the original disc is a 256 millimeter um, from memory, uh, this is 282. So it's uh, a worthwhile increase in diameter. Uh, the offset is similar; it's actually four millimeters less. Uh, so I'll try assembling the hub, see what the clearances look like. And if necessary, I can put a spacer between the disc and the hub. And I bought a set of um, Xantia calipers, or they might have been uh, Peugeot 308 calipers, which uses the same um, diameter and thickness disc, but has a different offset. Anyway that wasn't going to work because of um, a clash between the mounting lugs on the caliper carriers and the upright or steering knuckle for our American friends. I was then looking at various caliper options um, some people seem to have done a similar conversion and were using Nissan 200 ZX four part alloy calipers, which they were then uh, changing the spacing between the caliper halves on. But quite honestly, they were um, they were expensive um, to the point where buying uh, brand new calipers from high spec was a sensible alternative. Uh, but I found what I thought were absolutely perfect which was a set of these high-spec billet 4 calipers and these were um, advertised on eBay as having been removed from a Peugeot 308 which as previously mentioned would have the same diameter and thickness disc however I suspect they actually came from a 306 and were using one of high-specs aftermarket um, 285 millimeter brake discs, which would be no problem, but a 22 millimeter thickness, like the original um, Toyota derived Lotus disc, rather than the 26 of the Citroen disc. Uh, so this isn't particularly a problem. I'll just order a new set of caliper spacers from high spec. To suit the 26 millimeter disc. Um, this disc is of course a chunk heavier but the caliper is considerably lighter so I'll probably still get a small reduction and unsprung weight over this cast iron monster which you can get thrown out of the way on the floor. So anyway, the disc obviously needs um, machining to suit the hub and it mounts in a reverse manner to the Citroen. So it, it, the, the hub mounts on this face, whereas the disc would have mounted on a hub coming from behind. 
but anyway, um, the centre bore was 66 millimetres, and it needs to be taken out to 76. Made a note there, and you might ask, well, why am I boring it on the mill rather than turning it on the lathe? Now that I have the big L6, which is more than capable of swinging it. Well, of course, I've got to do the bolt pattern as well. And having sent it up on the bore, I can do the 100 millimeter PCD bolt pattern very easily on the mill, and it's all in one setup. So that's what I shall be completing this morning, doing the second disc, and then the hubs can get assembled. So this is where I've now got to on the big brake upgrade. I got the disc mounted on the hub and onto the upright using the old wheel bearings and I was then able to work out all of the offsets between the radial mounting bolts which are a known dimension from the disc centerline and therefore a known distance from the disc surface because I know the thickness of the disc and High Specs website is really quite appalling, but I did eventually find a fairly low resolution image with all of the um, offset dimensions for this size of caliper and can just about make out the numbers, which I then did a sanity check um, against the caliper with a set of um, calipers measurement calipers rather than braking calipers and machined up a pair of mounting brackets and the offsets have all turned out absolutely fine I used the offset for a 280 millimeter disc rather than these which are 282 or 3 the chamfer on the edge of the disc means that the working surface is really only 280 millimeters um, and you'd end up with the the pad wearing as an overhang so I think we're absolutely fine and they can be shimmed if I want to so I am now just waiting on being actually able to get caliper spares uh, new spacers and some new pistons which um, is proving a touch difficult at the moment. I'm waiting for one of high specs distributors to actually come back to me with price and availability.